Hello friends, welcome to the lecture series on high voltage engineering. In this lecture, we'll be discussing the numericals on the different topics of high voltage generation, specifically the Cockcroft Walton voltage multiplier circuit. So this is the lecture series or the lecture on voltage multiplier circuit. So let us begin. <music> formally may be required to solve the numericals that will be given during solving of the numericals. Here the set of equations are already taken while discussing the topic and those equations are shared in the lectures. Now I am going to discuss few numericals related to this generation of high voltage and topic wise I am going to give you the equations which you need to solve the numericals. So let us check this. So let us check this. This is your topic number 30, numericals on high voltage generation. This numerical goes like this, a Cockcraft Walton type voltage multiplier circuit. It means this is the numerical on voltage multiplier circuit where it generates or develops the DC voltage. Here I am sharing few concepts related to the numerical so that everyone can understand. The voltage multiplier circuit is the last circuit after voltage doubler or cascaded voltage doubler circuit where that circuit named as Cockcraft Walton voltage multiplier circuit and it decides or it has the number of stages into it and that decides the output voltage. Now in this case the number of stages which are given are 8. So the value of n is equal to 8. So let us write down the given quantities. n is equal to 8. Then with capacitances all equal to 0 0.05 microfarad. So the value of C is equal to 0 0.05 microfarad. The supply transformer secondary voltage is 125 kilovolt at a frequency of 150 hertz. So small f is equal to 150 hertz. If the load current to be supplied is 5 milliampere, so it means capital I is equal to 5 milliampere. So with this information, we have to find out certain quantities related to the same, starting with the first percentage ripple, percentage regulation, the optimum number of stages for maximum regulation or voltage drop. So let us start with the first one. Percentage ripple. This percentage ripple is given by the equation del V divided by 2N, where 2N be the number of stages which we considered in discussing the voltage multiplier circuit multiplied by V max, that is maximum voltage. Now here that maximum voltage is 125 volts which is given in the numerical. So this is V max is equal to 125 kilo volt. So we have to find out this percentage ripple. Now here the number of stages are 8 and therefore the total number of capacitors is 8 multiplied by 2. 8 multiplied by 2. So here I just mentioned n is equal to 16. Number of capacitors are 16. So now del V that we have to find out which is required to get this percentage ripple. So del V is given by the equation I divided by F into C. That C is the capacitor value multiplied by n into n plus 1 divided by 2. That is what the equation which is used. Now the value of current is 5 milliampere. So its conversion is 5 into 10 is power minus 3 ampere divided by frequency 150 hertz. The value of capacitor is 0 0.05 microfarad. So 0 0.05 into 10 is power minus 6 
multiplied by n. So the number of capacitors are 16. So 16 multiplied by 16 plus 1, that is 17, and it is divided by 2. So the value which comes out to be for del V is equal to, let us do the calculation. So this value is 90.67 kilovolt. The value of the delta V is 90.67 kilovolt. Now, percentage ripple can be calculated. So here, del V into 100 for the conversion of percentage. So del V is 90.67 into 100 divided by 2N. So what is 2N? It is already said it is 16. So therefore, 16 multiplied by V max, that is 125, which comes up to be 4.53%. So this is our first value, percentage ripple. Now let us find out second value, regulation. The equation for regulation is equal to delta V, that is voltage drop, divided by Again, 2N into Vmax multiplied by 100%. Again, this needs the value of delta V. Delta V can be calculated as I upon F into C into 2 by 3 N cube plus N square upon 2 minus N by 6. By putting all the values, required values of the parameters. So when you solve this particular value, you will get 248 kilo volt, the value of delta V. Therefore, percentage regulation is equal to 248 kilo volt multiplied by 100 divided by 2 into 8 into 125 and that comes out to be 12.4 percent third value it demands the optimum number of stages so n optimum the equal v max into f into c divided by i the value of Vmax is 125 multiplied by 150 multiplied by 0 0.05 into 10 to the power minus 6 and divided by 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this value comes out to be this maximum voltage is in kilovolts. So we have to convert this quantity into 10 to the power. 3 that is in volts. So this 10 to the power 3 is indicating the conversion of kilovolt into volts. So therefore, this gives me the optimum number of stages as 13.69 and that is nearly equal to 14 stages. So that's all with this particular numerical. We'll see one more numerical in next lecture. Thank you.